Good morning everybody, I'm Andy the Vegani and welcome to another installation of Vegan in and this time in Tallinn, Estonia. Really looking forward to this trip because I hear the city is beautiful, the vegan community there is very strong and the weather is going to be fantastic. At least that's what the weather forecast says. So first up Brussels airport, then we're heading to Frankfurt and then finally gonna land in Tallinn in about six hours. So let's go. <laughs> So I finally arrived to Frankfurt Airport, but it's just a short stopover before heading to Tallinn. But this time I'm gonna speed up things a little bit. So three, two, one. And we arrived in Tallinn. Now I'm joined by my co-pilot Amy. And now we're heading to the Airbnb and gonna enjoy Tallinn. So let's go. Alright, so it's already the evening of the second day, but yesterday I was too tired to record anything and today I was mainly just taking photos and a couple of videos so I hadn't had my microphone around. So let me give you a summary now of what happened so far. So yesterday, as you've seen, we went to this amazing vegan restaurant called Vegan Inspiration, a little bit like that, and the food was just outstanding. So we started with a mixed snack platter that was like ultra delicious, followed by a beetroot burger that was oh, super nice. Afterwards, we basically just, just had a drink and then went early to bed because uh, we had to wake up very early in the morning. So it was a rather long day. But today we woke up very early as well, just to realize that it was raining, unfortunately. Basically, we spent most of the day shopping. We started in this creative city they had a lot of vintage, artsy places where you can buy a lot of vegan or eco-friendly or fair trade products like clothes or home art items. I can definitely recommend this place to you. It's amazing for just hanging around, having a drink, eating food, enjoying a delicious ice cream as you've seen yesterday and um, buy eco-friendly stuff or just handmade items. So later today we had a reservation at a vegan restaurant called Vegan Restaurant V and the food is just amazing. It started with like beetroot ravioli with the cashew cream inside that was like well finger licking good. Amy she had a, a mixed seafood platter with a lot of uh, wakame and some papadam and uh, some dips as a, as a side. It was ultra delicious as well. So my main course was quinoa turnip cutlet with roasted carrot garlic mash that was like oh heavenly it was so delicious and amy had some uh, lentil filled zucchini with some buckwheat that was also extremely nice the buckwheat had, had kind of a dip with with uh, mustard so delicious as a dessert i enjoyed a mini pavlova which is kind of like um a little bit like a baisé, like this French thing. I assume it was made from aquafaba with an avocado lime cream that was like, oh my God, so delicious. Amy enjoyed a uh, chocolate cupcake with the most heavy cream on top that you can imagine that was like ultra delicious. So in some, you have to go there. If you're ever in Tallinn, I definitely recommend going to this place. They have not paid me or anything to say that their food is just outstanding good.
Hello, so it's already the morning of the fourth and last day. Let me quickly summarize what happened yesterday on the third day. So we started with a brunch at the Vigri Kovic, which was an amazing place. They have a very proper and solid brunch. Uh, everything is vegan and plant-based there. Super delicious. The food was very good and we enjoyed a lot of it there. Since the restaurant Vigri Kovic is situated beautifully in the 1980 Olympic Sailing Regatta Harbor. We used this as a starting point to explore this area and then basically just strolled back to town and uh, enjoyed a nice long walk there. The weather was fantastic and the area is very beautiful. Definitely recommend going there. Afterwards, we headed back to town and basically enjoyed discovering the street festivals that were going on yesterday. And then in the evening had a couple of drinks. So didn't do much than just enjoying the city yesterday. And this morning on the fourth and last day, we just enjoyed a very early lunch at the Beck Machine. Very delicious, they have burgers, wraps, fries. Very delicious, good place. And now it's time to go for the airport. So let's go. So finally back in Belgium, just in time before the big storm hits. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Have a wonderful day.